Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mall for Friday, the 11th of February. With Robert Murray McShane, one of the chapters we read today is Job chapter 10. And I was struck by verse 2, where Job, pleading his case before God, says, I say to God, do not declare me guilty, but tell me what charges you have against me. Essentially, tell me what I've done wrong. What have I done to deserve what I'm going through? And as I read that, I thought, that is such a human cry. And you hear this time and again as we go through life. What have I done to deserve this? Now, now clearly, sometimes there are things which happen and we brought it on ourselves. If I have been smoking for the last 30 years and then get lung cancer and say, oh, what have I done to deserve this? Well, you smoked for 30 years. That's what you did to deserve it. Um, and there are things like that. But so often there's not. There's somebody who's never smoked and they get lung cancer and they can well say, what have I done to deserve this? And the answer is so often nothing. You've done nothing to deserve it. Life doesn't always just work as cause and effect. You do this and this is the consequence. It would be wonderful if it was, but it's not. And sometimes things just happen. And that is, that is two um, ramifications. The one is we can never point fingers at people and think, oh, well, that person, <laughs> look at what they go through. That's, that's entirely their own doing. Often it isn't. Maybe on occasions they've brought it on themselves, but so often it's not. And therefore we mustn't blame ourselves as well. And we find people, they get sick or there's some dreaded disease or there's some catastrophe um, in their life and they say, what have I done to deserve this? And the answer is you've done nothing. It's just life goes this way. And as Job has said, there's this whole dimension behind life and that's intermeshed with life that we have no clue about. And we don't understand, and it's, it's a mystery to us, and it, and it doesn't make sense. But be encouraged to keep going. It's, you've done nothing to deserve this. This is not your fault. Don't blame yourself. Just pray for strength to persevere. And the flip side of that is when things are going well for us, we mustn't sit back and pat ourselves on the back and say, well, actually, I deserve this, because we don't. And all the good things we have... Um, Sometimes we will have worked for them, but the other people that have worked just as hard, that have done pretty much the same as we've done, and life has just taken a different um, path for them, and they're, they're not in our position, and they're suffering. We cannot ever pat ourselves on the back, and therefore we live day by day with gracious um, thankfulness, just saying, God, uh, thank you for this. Thank you for what we've received. Thank you for all the blessings that you've poured into our lives which we didn't deserve. As that old uh, country and western song goes, why me, Lord? What have I ever done to deserve even one of the blessings you give? And Job's cry highlights that. What have I done? Nothing. Nothing to deserve the bad, nothing to deserve the good. It is just part of life. And therefore, we give thanks to God for the good and we pray for strength to endure the bad. So uh, be thankful and be encouraged.